Okay, we're going to continue with integration and we're going to be looking at what I call the log trick in this video and is effectively um, kind of what we were doing in the last video with reversing the chain rule. Um, so I call it the log trick. Um, it's not really a trick, but it's one that you should be able to spot. So, um, first of all, we know that the integral of 1 over x dx is ln of x. I'm going to ignore all the uh, plus c's for the time being, uh, much like I did in the last video, just for convenience sake. Okay, so we know that the integral of 1 over x dx is log x. Um, effectively, what I'm trying to pinpoint is that uh, the derivative of what's on the bottom is the same thing as the, what we've got on the top. So the derivative of x is 1. So in the same way that if I had 1 over x plus 1 dx, okay, then the derivative of what's on the bottom is 1, which is on the top, and this would be log of x plus 1. Okay. Um, and then I could have 1 over, um, let's say, x minus 3 dx. Okay, so the derivative of what's on the bottom is on the top, so that's log of x minus 3. And then if I had 2 over 2x plus 5 dx, then the derivative of what's on the bottom is 2, which is on the top, so this is log of 2x plus 5. Okay. So, in all of these examples, I'm basing it around this idea that if the derivative of what's on the bottom is on the top, then you can just have the answer as log of the denominator. Okay? So, in general, if you have the integral of f prime of x over f of x, so the derivative of what's on the bottom is on the top, then this is equal to log of f of x plus c. Okay, so let's see this uh, with a few more examples. Um, so, um, for example, you could have the integral of, um, well, let, let's do one that's uh, slightly different then, 3 lots of x plus 1 dx. Now, the derivative of what's on the bottom is 1 which isn't what we have on the top. In fact, we've got three lots of the derivative of what's on the bottom. So we must have three lots of log of x plus 1. I'm going to include that plus c there. Okay. Um, so if you had, uh, let's say, 3 over 2x plus 1. Now the derivative of what's on the bottom now is 2. I've got 3. So I've got one and a half times as many. So actually I've got three halves log of 2x plus 1 plus c. If I had the integral of 3 over 3x three plus 1, then the derivative of what's on the bottom is 3, which is the same as what I've got on the top. So this would just be log of 3x plus 1. Then if I had, uh, let's say, I've got 3 over 4x plus 1. Okay. Now, the derivative of what's on the bottom is 4. I've got 3. Okay. So in actual fact, I've got 3 quarters of what I want. Okay. So this is how you can uh, manipulate uh, using this log trick. Okay, so you can integrate function directly. All of these that I've been working through can be uh, integrated using integration by substitution. Okay, much like we did in the previous video, um, where the denominator is u. Okay, um, but once again, these are shortcuts. These are techniques you can employ that will make your life easier if you can spot them, and the examiner will expect you to be able to spot them. So let's have a look at another. 
Um, if you have something like x squared minus 3x plus 1, uh, then 2x minus 3 on the top, which is the derivative of what's on the bottom, then this is log of x squared minus 3x plus 1 plus c. Okay? If you had, let's say, um, Ooh, I don't know, 6x cubed minus 3x plus 9 on the bottom, and you had 36x squared um, 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 minus uh, 6 on the top, okay, dx, then I. it's one of those cases where you're looking at the denominator and saying to yourself, well, the derivative of what's on the bottom would be 18x squared minus 3. I've got twice, uh, two lots of that amount on the top, so in actual fact I've got two lots of log of 6x cubed minus 3x plus 9. Okay. Um, another example would be uh, tan, tan x. Now this doesn't look like it would be um, using this log trick, but if you think about it, we haven't looked at the integral of tan x yet, um, and tan we know is sine over cos, okay? Now, now we've got it in a format where if we, we think about what is the derivative of cos x. Well, that's minus sine x. Okay? The derivative of cos x is minus sine x. We've got sine x on the top. So this would have to be minus log of cos x. Okay? And you could do a similar one with cot. So that is the integral of cos over sine. So the derivative of what's on the bottom is cos. Derivative of sine is cos. So this is just log of sine x. Okay, so you can use these techniques to help you. Okay, and it is very important that you are able to spot them.